everyone and welcome back to the random pets genetics challenge here in the sims 4 in our laboratory and i have not been here for a while so imagine my surprise when i walk into the laboratory and see such a stunning dog oh my gosh shy dragon you are absolutely beautiful i completely forgot that this was one of our canines that we had tucked aside uh from some of our experimental breeding we were doing is that a horse tail i think this is a horse tail oh my gosh <laughs> So Shy Dragon has actually ended up with some of the horse traits that we have inherited from Lily Potter. And this really is hilarious now that I think about it, that we got the griffin paws and hooves from a, from a dog named Lily Potter. I guess we have a little bit of that Harry Potter magic going on here, eh? But this is really, truly what it means to run the laboratory and all of our random experiments, especially with Mary the All black dog with a horse face and griffin hooves and a twirly tail in this fur. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. And we even have an heir, finally, who is not a black dog and who happens to have some really interesting traits. Once again, horse tail, griffin paw and hooves. We've got some fancy fur, some pointed ears, some red eyes. Well, there's quite a bit going on on this dog, to be completely honest. So it's going to be very exciting to see what we have for the last 25 canines coming up pretty soon for our family tree. But first things first, we do actually need to hire a new lab assistant, which I am okay. very excited uh -huh. about. I know, Gamer Snorlax, don't worry. You have been with us for quite a while. I highly appreciate all of the wonderful work that you have done, but you need to retire before your hips are too old to go and learn how to ice skate with the new skating that you can do in The Sims 4 Seasons, okay? So we're gonna let Gamer Snorlax go ahead and retire. And she's actually going to take with her Puppy Paws. I wanna make sure I get them all right. Stream Star, who is really another absolutely stunning dog that I'm very happy to have. Lily, Mary, and Shy Dragon. So all of these puppers are going to be headed out now. And they are going to retire with Gamer Snorlax. Oh my gosh, Stream Star, you are so pretty. I might try to like sort of sneak one or two of the dogs with us. There we go. And we want Ana Ana Soa uh, to stay with us. And Shy Dragon or Stream Star. I'm going to keep Stream Star just so we can see maybe what some of those puppies look like in a minute. And let's hire our newest lab assistant pulled from you guys. So the way we do this is if you have left a comment in the previous videos, I use a special website that is a random YouTube comment picker. And I randomly select one of you to become either our new lab assistants or our cats and dogs or whatever you're going to call a cat, dog, horse, like turkey hybrid at this rate in our lab you guys should know that by now so if you want make sure you leave comments down below so that you can become a future lab assistant or a future animal in our lab but for now it is time to create dun 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 sarah so we are going to be creating a lab assistant named sarah and that is named after little sarah 25 so welcome sarah you're going to be our lab assistant there we are let me pull up all of our random numbers to make sure that we are good and ready to go there we go random numbers perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love the dress. I actually love the dress and the outfit and everything we have lined up right now. But we're going to change. We're gonna go ahead and, I mean, I guess we could just like change all of this. What do you guys think about that? Instead of like manually going through and messing around with the face, what does it look like? The first number is five if we just randomize all of this five times. One, <laughs> two, nice. three, Relax. Four, five. Cool. All right. So I guess, well, that did skin tone for sure and voice. And we probably still want to randomize again, but this kind of summed it up pretty neatly. So if you guys think we should just do that broad randomization for the lab assistants, let me know. But this time we'll go ahead and carry on with some of the changes that we do do for our lab assistants. Cause I do like making it so you can have any type of hair. That is pretty fun. So we're going to change the hair 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> The cat ears would have been so cute. 11. Oh, cool. Sarah, look at your hair. You are really going with some of those cool colors. That is awesome. 
Uh, let's go ahead and change some other features. We're going to change the eyebrows 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. The, you know what? I think I like changing things up uh, manually myself because then I feel like we get a broader range than the stuff that comes when you just do the basic randomization. So we're going to change the eyes six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice green eyes. I love it. Six times for the nose. Six. There we go. We're going to change the mouth nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's change the cheeks 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go. Twice on the chin. I think that's everything. Oh, and the head shape uh, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. So this is going to be Sarah. Oh, wait, the ears. I can't even. Sarah, you have escaped the big ear, small ear challenge by virtue of the fact that I literally cannot reach your ears. Very clever indeed, my friend. Very clever indeed. But all right, let's see if she is going to be properly addressed for the lab. We are going to change all of the clothes seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A cute little dress, okay. It completely doesn't match, but it's festive. Oh. So maybe she really, really loves winter. And we're going to change the shoes. We're gonna make sure absolutely no accessories on. This is a lab, it is a place of science. Uh, and we are going to change the shoes five times. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you know, there's color here. I think this bodes very well for Sarah being a person of color who will bring much color into our lab today. So this is this is pretty fun. I think I do like changing it all manually because you end up with so many different combinations that you might not normally see. All right, and we're going to choose Sarah's aspiration. She is actually going to be athletic. She wants to be a bodybuilder and have high metabolism. And then we're going to choose her traits. She is actually going to be... Let me see. Okay, nine, 10, 11. She's a bro. <laughs> I guess that goes with the athletic trait. I really should install some new custom traits now that the expansion pack is out because I love having custom traits too. And then we are gonna have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 again. And she's also, no, an evil bro. <laughs> All right, this is not where I thought things were going to go. An evil bro who is cheerful. This sounds like a very dangerous person all of a sudden. Sarah, you suddenly have become a, uh, yeah, suddenly that smile makes me a little nervous. Maybe I need to be watching behind my back while we are actually working with her. But all right, let's go ahead. And today we are actually going to work on cats. So Olivia, it is time for you. Yes, it is time. It is time for Olivia to finally have a mate of her own. And we are going to see what random kittens appear. Olivia is three-tailed. So there is a chance we will be able to pass on the three-tailed cat traits through the family tree, which would make me very happy. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, new kitty. It is a mixed breed already, yes. We are gonna randomize seven times, this being one of them, for a mixed breed to be Olivia's mate. And uh, then we are actually going to name this kitty. Hmm. Okay, we'll do the mixed breed and then I will show you guys the names. So two, three. Okay, hang on a second. Two looks so cool. These cats look beautiful. Four, five, six. Seven. All right, so this is going to be the base cat that we begin with. It is going to be a mischievous, aloof, free spirit cat who apparently is as independent as a cat can become. That's kind of amazing. And this is gonna be Caddy. So Caddy the Random. So I'm gonna name you Caddy Random over here. Uh, that's funny. That's funny, because it's a cat, right? Caddy, random, random jeans challenge. That is so perfect. I never thought about it like that. That is. That is really perfect. Oh my gosh. Or should I say perfect? But all right, I'll stop with the bad puns. You are going to be a feline experiment 42. And we are now going to change everything about your current appearance. So we're going to change body twice. One, two. We are going to go ahead and am I going to change head shape? I am not going to change head shape. So head shape stays the same, but we'll change everything else here. So we are going to change this five times. Ears, one, two, three, four, five. 
We're gonna change, oh, you've got big ears now. We're gonna change the nose seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. The whiskers are going to change eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're going for more of a naturalistic look here. Honestly, as long as we pass on those three tails, I am happy with however our cats look. And then we are going to randomize the eyes eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what? <laughs> we have slightly overly large and cross-eyed uh, galaxy eyes for this cat. Let us see if we can create a really cool galaxy body to go with it. Oh my gosh. All right, we are gonna randomize the tail seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, dang it, all right. But we have a cute little bunny tail. So we can either inherit a cute little bunny tail from Caddy or we can inherit Olivia's three tails for any of the kittens, which is good. It's still a unique tail either way. So that makes me quite happy. Now we are going to randomize the coat five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, a calico pattern. That is so cool. All right. We're going to change this nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to have to see if our brand new lab assistant, Sarah, is going to be full of bright colors. Nine. Oh, 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 hmm. This kind of looks like Halloween that went bad. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Now all I can see is kind of like a hot dog. <laughs> what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're stopping at nine. All I can see is like chili. This is like a chili cheese cat. What? <laughs> this is this is like when you leave a little kid alone with the mustard and the, the ketchup too close to them next to the high chair. Um, I guess we have like a, a chili cheese galaxy cat. That sounds like an order up. Like you would stand in line at like the hot dog bar or something and be like, chili cheese, galaxy cat, please. Uh, so there we go. Okay, we've still got more to change. Nine times on the fur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, and we do actually still have the Sphinx pattern. Alrighty. And now we are going to change up some of the genetics and we are going to see, will this be a cat with rabbit ears? Are we going to have the cute new hats that have been added in by the Caltron? Are we going to actually end up, uh, let's see, Calen, Caltron? Uh, are we going to have like the fingers? There's so many adorable little things and I know there's something else. What is this piece? Oh, those are the rabbit legs. We can even have rabbit legs. Okay. So we're going to randomize twice. One two. Ah. And unfortunately, we are not going to have anything extra, but we do have a little rabbit tail, which is pretty cute. So, all right, this is Caddy Random. <clears throat> I sort of feel like, I sort of feel like, well, you'd make a really cute, a really cute little... <laughs> You would make a really cute little dragon and honestly you would make like a, a chili cheese cat This is this is kind of adorable uh, All right Well, this is colorful and this is definitely a unique looking cat and we get to look at eight of the kittens between Olivia our three-tailed reverse tabby and uh, Caddy random our galaxy hot dog cat who possibly should go become a new friend with our hot dog obsessed Eve Eureka of our Oasis challenge. So eight kittens it is. Let's do this. Uh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. Wow. This is a beautiful cat. Holy days. Okay. That's a purebred cat. So I'm going to remember that for the future. But let's mix these kittens. All right. Here is kitten number one. And it looks totally normal. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that out of these two. But Olivia and Caddy Random have had one child out of eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Whoa. Eight. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
we have some major recessive genes going wild over here. We actually do have a special kind of cattail. Um, I'm going to roll though. Like we, we ended up with a squirrel tail. I'm going to roll to see if we should say that's a recessive gene or, or if we should roll again. Okay, so we're actually going to roll again. We're going to see if we inherit the three tails or if we inherit the rabbit tail. And the answer is we actually inherit the rabbit tail, unfortunately. Uh, so there we go. We have our brand new feline experiment. And I actually kind of love how sciencey this one feels. Even though we had such amazingly different parents uh, that they could ca come from, we ended up with this cat who actually gets to be named Moon after Swaggy Moon. That is so cool. It definitely looks like a cat that belongs on experiments on the moon. And this is officially going to be our 43rd feline experiment. Not bad. We're gonna give it its traits, clever and curious and fluffy. Like literally all of the traits right next to each other. This is really cool. So welcome Moon, our 43rd cat in our feline experiments. And I have to say, I'm kind of shocked that we didn't have uh, our galaxy cat hot dog <laughs> or our three tails continue on. But this is a good start for Sarah, our brand new lab assistant to help yeah. us with. So I will see you guys next time. We'll probably be doing more cats for a little while just because we are up to 75 out of 100 of the dogs for the canine side of things. And the cats are starting to get pretty darn interesting. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.